I, because what I said about people, people get in the way. For you people, I know it's a lot of people right now that's waiting into New Year's to start their workout. I keep telling people, you know, you shouldn't wait until New Year's, but I can't tell you what to do. I'm not trying to tell you what to do because you can't tell me what to do either. So I wouldn't even, you know, disrespect you like that. Please don't tell me what to do. Don't give me no advice on working out because I already know I work out better than you. And and, and I'm, I'm yo, you do not want to do not want to play with me. <laughs> but I'm just saying, right? Everybody in the gym is a critic, and everybody in the gym is a coach for some reason. You know, do not when you start your workout on New Year's, which I know you are. Hopefully, you stick with it. Most people don't stick with it. Um, everybody that procrastinates. Oh, New Year, New Me. Oh. New Year's is not a magical day. You can start that any you can whatever you could do on New Year's, you could do on any day. You can stop a bad habit on any day. You can start a good habit on any day, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But my point is, I go at the gym at this time to avoid people. Do not go in the gym. You just started. And, and, and this happens all the time. You just started and you automatically telling people like me who has been in there, you know what I'm saying? Not toot my horn, said I'm the best in the world, but I'm better than any average guy. And, and you know what I'm saying? I'm way above average. I'm way above the average guy on strength, on physique, on, on whatever. I've reached all of your goals already. God dang it. How you going to tell me? This, I always tell you, no, man, let's take our shirts off then. You know, no. No funny stuff. Let's take our shirts off, stand next to each other, and then we can tell who who, who workout program is better, who, whose advice is better, who's fit. Stop it, man. Common sense to tell you, man. Why do keto, man? Shut up. Man, I ain't never seen nobody get ripped on keto. I've never seen nobody get ripped on keto. I've seen people lose a couple pounds on keto. I've never seen nobody get ripped on keto without counting their calories. You know what I'm saying? Stuff don't work. It makes you lose water weight. People keep arguing with me with that. And every guy that argue with me with that can never show one ab. And a lot of them can't do one pull up. And I'm not even dissing. I'm not even dissing. They be coming at me. <laughs> they be coming at me. Every, dog, whoever is trying to get on their fitness journey and you in the beginning, let me warn you. Let me warn you, you might not like it. You might not like it. If you're trying to go all the way, you might not like it when you get there. I'm telling you. I'm, I'm telling you because it's annoying. Yes, you are more healthier. Yes, you should be doing it for more healthier if you're doing it the right way. You're natural like me, whatever. You know, people compare me to people that ain't natural. You ain't even that big because of... I don't shoot needles in my butt. <laughs> so shut up. You know what I'm saying? Or take oral um, pills that... Or even worse, probably. I don't know. But uh, I don't do none of that stuff. So, yes, I take supplements. That's different. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, what was I saying? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't go in the gym telling people what to do. I'm about to go get my good workout in. This pre-workout is starting to kick in. I'm starting to feel it. Um, yeah, man, let's go hit this workout, man. But I'm just trying to tell you, shut up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, shut up. Please. I just woke up, by the way, too. So, it just makes no sense. Keto don't work. <laughs> Eat your carbs, man. Have a balanced diet. Stop cutting out. Stop cutting out food groups to uh to lose weight. Now, if okay, let's talk about vegans. Vegans. I'm not trying to diss nobody. Do not before I even say it. I'm not dissing nobody. But a lot of people go vegan for you know, weight loss. A lot of people go vegan for weight loss and a lot of people go keto for weight loss. And most of them people, you're cutting out a whole food group. You know what I'm saying? When you cut out meat or when you cut out carbs, you're cutting out a whole food group. Your, your diet is unbalanced now because you got a whole food group missing, right? And carbs are just, you lose 15 pounds of water weight when you um, do keto. That's water weight. That's not body fat. It's not. I don't care. Anybody that argue with me, show me your results. It's not body fat. It's water weight. Just because the scale goes up and down does not mean your body fat is going up and down. A lot of people get 
beginners a lot they panic they're easy they're easily fooled so they buy the wrong products and they go through the wrong diets and then because you're guessing but i'm trying to tell you i'm trying to tell you what you need to hear not what you want to hear i'm trying not to go on this tangent because i had to go work out but there's some things i got to tell you because people don't understand these things okay you could go you could disagree to disagree or whatever you got the right to disagree you don't have to agree with everything i say but at the end of the day, <sighs> results, all right? All right, so if you go vegan, there's nothing wrong with going vegan. I got vegan friends. I got vegan family, right? But a lot of vegans, their hormones are out of whack. You know what I'm saying? Their testosterone goes downhill. A lot of people make the biggest mistake. You know, I'm not telling you not to go vegan. I'm just telling you when you do, if you do, if you decide to, I will never, it's not for me. You're not gonna tell me what to do. I'm not gonna tell you what to do. Like I just said, so I'm not dissing. I'm just saying like, a lot of people cut out all of their protein. Like you could get some, you could get protein on a vegan diet. But I'm just saying from people that I personally know, they just stop eating meat. They just start eating vegetables and fruits and this and that and the third. And they do well at first. And then they start feeling weak and sick and stuff. You cutting out a lot of stuff, man. So I mean, I ain't your doctor. You know, I always talk to, tell you to talk to your doctor. Um, you know, don't ever listen to no. No, I'm not going to tell you that because people get mad at that too. But uh, people get offended for some reason. I'm just telling you, me personally, I would never listen to somebody who does not have results. I was talking to this uh, dude the other day. And he was talking about. Um, how somebody had him on a cabbage soup diet and, and some other stuff. I'm like, you're not going to stick to that diet, bro. You don't even need to go that route. You're not going to be satiated. You're not going to be full. You're not going to enjoy the diet. If you don't enjoy the diet, you're not going to stick to it. Willpower and this and that and the third only lasts so long. You might lose some pounds on, on the cabbage diet. You know how low of calories you're eating when you do that? So, yes, you're going to lose weight. You're going to lose weight. People lose weight juice fasting and doing all kind of other stuff. But as soon as they start eating again, they gain the weight back. You're not going to sustain your weight loss. I'm, I'm sorry. Stop looking for the quick fixes, all right? God dang, people pull up. Yo, stop looking for the quick fixes. Stop it. Stop looking for the quick fixes. You are messing up. Bad. Let's say you lose whatever you want to... Let's say you lose 50 pounds. Great. Have you seen the shows like The Biggest Loser and all that other stuff? And I'm going to quote this because I, I didn't make up this quote. But... Everybody has heard it. You could teach a man to fish. No. If you give a man a fish, he'll eat for a day. But if you teach a man to fish, he can eat for a lifetime. They're giving those people the fish. And when they go to fend for themselves, they can't eat because they don't know how to fish. You can eat something else. Shut up. That, yo, yo, you missing the whole point. <laughs> you, missing the, you missing the point. Stop it. But yeah, man, what I'm trying to tell you, I'm trying to teach you to teach yourself. A wise man, one, I'm not going to call him wise because this is dude I don't even like him. Um, but he told me, uh, it was at an old job or whatever. He told me, um, he told me you should be trying to work yourself out of a job. That's what your goal needs to be. So that's what I'm doing right here. I'm trying to make it to where... Um, if you follow Rapid Time Fitness for even a couple months, cram your brain with the information that I be giving. Within six months, you're not gonna need me or any other. I never had a trainer. I never. I'm at the gym right now. I've never had a trainer. I never paid nobody for none of this stuff. Why? Because they're traditional. They do not know what they talk about either. They're. They don't fit the bill. You know what I'm saying? They don't even look the part. Like, you know what I'm saying? They don't even look the part. How you gonna tell me to, how to get lean and you're not even lean? You're not gonna, I'm not, I'm not giving you my money. 
You know, that's not bashing anybody. I'm talking about my money that I earned. I'm supposed to give it to you. And you don't even look the part. That's like that's like hiring a driver trainer that don't even know how to drive. He don't even got a driver's license. And he's supposed to be training you how to drive. People are easily fooled. I mean, I, I do not understand why people listen to... You know, the blind leading the blind. I know so many people that don't go to the gym because I'm still sipping on this, by the way. Um, the blind leading the blind. This is another reason why I take mine to the head because I've been already in there by then. But um, the blind leading the blind. When you start your New Year's journey, I know you're waiting into New Year's. When you start your New Year's journey and you start, let's say you start with a partner, whether they're your friend, cousin, or whatever, let me give you a piece of advice. If they also just began, they're beginners too. Y'all don't need to be teaching each other. Y'all can work out together, but y'all don't need to be teaching each other. Y'all can learn together, and y'all can bounce ideas off each other a little bit, but at the end of the day, you're the blind leading the blind. You need to be learning from somebody who's been doing it. I've been doing this, man. I'm not saying I'm the best in the world. I'm, I'm just saying I'm the best that you go get for free. <sighs> Have you seen my physique update? Have you seen my... No, it ain't just my physique update. Have you seen my before and after? Because easily, I always be telling people like easily, and, and people claim that on me. Oh, you must have always been like that. You, mean like, you know what I'm saying? No, I haven't. I've been big. I've been 275. I've been over 100 and something pounds heavier than I am right now. Straight up. I can't wait till my next physique update. But uh yeah, let's let's go in the gym, man. Coming up. No, we in there.